raster versus vector data in GIS. So raster data, if we zoom in, we can see is actually made up of a regular grid of what we refer to as pixels. And each of these pixels can store one or more simple values, which is great for storing any kind of continuous data. So things like imagery, but also things like height data, elevation um, or pollution, for example. Vector data, on the other hand, is made of points, which can be joined together to create lines for features such as roads, or to enclose areas, which we call polygons, for features like buildings. And this is much better for recording discrete features. Um, and it also allows us to store much more complex attribute data in the background, which we can view in the attribute table here. So in this case, we have height data, but we can actually have dozens of attributes, which can allow us to visualize and analyze our data more effectively. So there you go, the difference between vector and raster data. Please like and subscribe.